everyone, welcome to my channel and today's video is going to be about objects. Objects is basically what allows you to gain access to another class so that you can use some of its methods or have access to its variables. I'd say you would create an object when two classes have a has a relationship and I'm going to explain the difference between an is a relationship and a has a relationship which determines whether or not you should extend from a class and inherit all of its variables and all its methods so you can use it or if you just want to use some. We're going to create two classes today and one is going to be called dog and another one's going to be called puppy and this is just for example purposes. So I'm going to create a new class and call it dog. And this one can be called puppy. So you may be confused when I'm talking about an is a and it has a relationship and I will definitely make a future video describing what it is more in depth. but. Um, Basically, an is a relationship is when you have a parent class, like animal, for example. We have a class called animal, and then we have a subclass, and we can call it dog. And it's when dog, the subclass, is able to inherit all of the parent class's properties. You have access to all of its variables, you can use all its methods, things like that. So that is an is a relationship, and it has a relationship. Basically, is what we have here. We have a dog and a puppy. A dog can have a puppy, but a dog doesn't. A dog isn't a puppy. But if we had a parent class called animal and then a subclass called dog, an animal, a dog is an animal. So I'm going to make a method and call it noise, public void noise. And void just means that it's not necessarily returning anything. And this method is basically just going to print out the noise that the dog makes, and in our case, it's wolf. So I can do a system out statement, and then we can print out noise, and this will just print out wolf. Now, if you want to be able to use this method from a different class, which in our case, we have a class called puppy, we can access that method by creating an object of that class. And that um, is how you access methods from a different class. You can either create an object or you can extend from that class as well, which will allow you to inherit all of your parent classes, uh, like variables and methods. But right now we are just going to create an object that will allow us to use it. To create an object of a class so that you can use the methods from that specific class, you have to state the class's name first, and then create an object name, and I think I'm just going to call this uh, dog access or something. You can call it anything you want, it should work either way, but generally it should have something that has to do with the class itself. And you're going to say it's equal to new dog. because this is saying that this is a new instance of the class dog. Now you be wondering, okay, so how do I use that method noise from the dog class? And basically all you have to do is just call that method using this object. So you state the object's name. And I like to think of an object as a key. It is the key to another class, and you need an object to be able to use another class's properties if it has a relationship. <laughs> So we want to use the method noise, and this should print out wolf. Okay, let's run this class. And as you can see, it printed out wolf. Let's create another method that takes in some arguments. Um, we can call it public string because it's going to take in some strings, and we can call it puppy name. And I can set this parameter to a string because we want the method to be able to take in some sort of parameter that is of type string, and I can just call it name. And we should have it return a sentence that says, let's see, we can say, hi, my name is, 
and then they can print out the name that we put inside of our argument. And then I'm just gonna go to this class as well. Use my key or my object, whatever you wanna call it. I think thinking of an object as a key to another class is a great way to understand the concept better. And we are gonna be using the method puppy name. And I can put in Maxwell or something, simple basic dog name. And because this is returning a string, and if you want it to print to the console, you need to put this method inside of a print statement so that it actually prints. The reason why I didn't do that in this method because it's because it didn't really return anything. A part of that method already has a print statement, so you don't need to put that one inside of a print statement. I think you would get an error. But if you put this method inside of a print statement, it will actually print out the return value. It says, hi, my name is Maxwell. So that is all for today. That is basically the basic concept of what an object is. It allows you to use things from another class. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them down below and I'll do what I can to help you out. Um, if you have any friends or classmates that you think this would help with understanding the concepts of objects, um, feel free to share that to them as well. And you can find me on my social media at Chandler Keys on Instagram or you can find my other main YouTube channel called Chandler Knows Best. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will hopefully see you guys next week.